Well, hey all, and welcome back. So now that I'm back from Taiwan, I wanted to go over some of the things I got. I, I got a bunch of things, including like MP36, you know, Mega, Masterpiece Megatron, and some third-party stuff. But what I'm going to go over today is some Gashapon. Now, if you're not familiar, Gashapon are sort of like the Japanese or part of Asia equivalent of capsule toys. But the difference is, is they're much cooler. They tend to be a little bit more expensive, but they are usually quite a bit cooler than things that we get in our little vending machines over here. Uh, at least post 80s. So anyway, I've got a mix here. Some are for my kids, some are for me, uh, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're just going to start opening them up and kind of seeing what we ended up with. And then when the video is over, I'll show you guys a handful of shots of other Gashapon machines I saw. Many I didn't get to get even though I wanted to because I only had like four or five hours I was running around Taiwan and I didn't always have change on me. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and start getting these open. So we'll go ahead and start with this one, and I have gone ahead and removed uh, at least one piece of tape on each side, just to sort of see what we get. And this is a bad example of something awesome. I do not know what it says, but it is a keychain. This actually was out of a machine that you didn't know what you're getting. I had a couple coins left over, and it was sort of a gamble. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's offensive, I don't know if it is ridiculous, but it is a keychain with some words on it. So that and something my daughter was really into while we were over there I think she kept calling it Gutama or Gutama I'm not entirely sure you say it. I just know it's the meh egg so he's a little egg egg guy and uh, he's pretty meh about everything so anyway this appears to be some sort of keychain these are actually nicer capsules too uh, because instead of using tape, they have a little clasp on them. And we have another one from that series. And this appears to be a meh egg. Some sort of almost Easter colored guy. And then one more from that pile. Let's see what she got. Uh, the ones on the right are definitely my kids. The ones I'm going to go through after these, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is something kind of cute. Reminds me of the Kidderot BFF series. So we have what looks like a little needle point thing with the uh, band around it and a safety pin. And it looks like it actually fastens on there. So they join. So yeah, that's actually a neat little piece. Uh, it has a hole here. I don't know if you could actually use a keychain. But I have a feeling that pin would fall off. So yeah, that's a neat little thing we got there. Alright, and then over here we have another thing from Takara Tommy, as we can see through the uh, packaging. And it is a little, I think it's a tanuki. So we have a little chef tanuki. He's got himself a ladle and a spatula. It's actually a nice little design. And we have another from that series, so we can see which one we got. Alright, so we've got a little sitting tanuki. And he looks like he's got some sort of stick. Oh, there's a pot behind him. So you put it in the pot, and he sits on the little stand, and he stirs the pot. So that's that's pretty cute. Alright. And this is some cars I saw. They reminded me of Koroku, which is another popular Tacoma, uh, Tommy thing. See, uh, there's the brand Tommy, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is a Koroki figure. Um, no windows, little police car. Oh, look at this, we got a sticker uh, sticker set so we can decorate it, uh, make it look, look, look a little bit more interesting. So this is like a low budget uh, Koroki car. And they had a few others in there. I was kind of hoping to get either the police car, or the ambulance, or the fire truck. Uh, this car's okay, but that's what we ended up with. Yeah, these I found at the airport on the way out. Uh, and since we were in a hurry, I didn't really have a chance to keep going after stuff. Alright, and so here, we've got, I believe this is 
boxes with cats. And so, you see we've got a little orange juice box here, and if you look underneath, there's cat paws. So it's sort of like there's a cat in a box. It's just some goofy Japanese thing. And there's a series of boxes. It's almost like Solid Snake uh, disguise, but for cats. And speaking of cats, I actually got this one for my friend. Uh, I'm going to open it here, but I'm going to mail it off to him. And what it is, is a hat for cats. The picture will help illustrate a little bit better. Just some ridiculous thing. For whatever reason. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. Um, I think he'll appreciate it. And I think this will round up cats. So we were over there and it was my first time one of my kids was over uh, Southeast Asia. And we, we saw a lot of the Chinese waving cats, the good luck cat. And so we got this one. So this body is the capsule. And then we've got the head, the arm, let's see what the package says. So there's a few different colors of it. We've got the one on the right, it looks like. This one actually has a lot of parts. We've got this gold bit inside, this other part, the hand, this little bottom piece that kind of lets it wobble the body. Uh, I like that the, the capsule is sort of part of the engineering. So we just snap these on here. We've got the cat so far. And then with that open up, we've got ears, the gold piece, and the hand. And so I'm going to assume the gold piece just goes there. That's how it looks. Decent enough. And then the paw, we have a peg here that will go on the side of the head. And then each ear, respectively. Let's see, there's a shape so we can figure out which way it goes. Probably should have done the ears first. Yeah, this pops out easy enough so we can go ahead and do the ears. And then we do the last ear. So now, we can either set it there. It'll sit nice. We'll just put the uh, teeter back on it, and it falls over. I actually don't know if it's intended to have that. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that was just a lock to keep it together, and then we'll take it like that. So there, we've got a cat. That's kind of neat. My daughter likes that, so it'll go for her. And here, we have a mini working Game Boy, or maybe bootleg Game Boy. It's not, I don't think it's an official Nintendo product. There's a variety of them here, and let's see what game we got. And I was hoping for Tetris because my daughter becomes obsessed with Tetris over there. It looks like some sort of jet fighter game, but it works. I mean, that's cool. A, a little coin-op machine gives you a working mini video game. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I wish I got more of those. So we had a shot to get Tetris. So then here, there we go. Some super robot love right here. We got the little spaceship that can dock on top of the head. Super deformed. That's, that looks really nice. Let's see who made this one. Oh, this is another Takar Tommy. They, they made quite a few Geshevon. And then some, here's some of the other mechs I could have gotten. So yeah, I'm happy with the one I got. It's another thing I probably would have gotten more of. I think that was outside of a 7-Eleven, which by the way over there is awesome. So lastly, we've got one more to open here. I did not do the tape on this one, I don't think. Oh yeah, I did. I cut it over there. And so we open it up. Got some stickers, got some instructions, and what we have here is a Gashapon machine that came out of a Gashapon, and it works. It actually has some little uh, capsule toys that you can put inside of it, and uh, you just 
turn the button. I am thinking it works. And now this one is another one I probably should have gotten a few of, uh, so I got a stack of little display, but it was cool just to have one. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead uh, following this. You guys will see some pictures of a handful of other just crazy uh, capsule toys that I saw. And uh, I'll go ahead and take some pictures of these out of the box. But like always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.